wave at the camera. My name is Manuel Guzman, and I'm giving my speech, persuasive speech, on why football should eliminate instant replay. I'm just going to give you guys a few examples of why I think that. Um, first example was last year, the Lions and the Seahawks. Uh, Calvin Johnson went in for to run for the going for a touchdown. Uh, Cam Chancellor actually went in there and punched the ball out. Uh, it was ruled a touchback, but what the what the refs didn't catch when they reviewed the play was um, against NFL rules. You're not allowed to hit the ball out of bounds. That sh um, that should have been given back to the Lions and back on the one yard line and they should have been able to probably score. So the Lions should have won that game, but of course Seattle won it due to that play because they ran the clock out. Uh, another example, um, we just talked about it, was the tough rule. The tough rule, the Raiders against the Patriots. Um, Tom Brady went to supposedly go throw the ball. He tucked the ball back in and Charles Woodson went and sacked him, he fumbled the ball. Um, same thing, refs went, reviewed the play. Uh, it was, like I said, the rule, the tuck rule. They said that he tucked it in, so Patriots ended up getting the ball back and it cost the Raiders uh, the game. Uh, another reason why instant replay is it slows down the game. Uh, you get, you have more timeouts because they're having to review more, more plays of course and so it slows it down clock stoppages uh, penalties everything like that so it slows down the game a lot more than what it should be um, what I think another one of the suggestions I think they should be doing is okay um, each team's only allowed two challenges in a game um, the way I think what they should do is give each team three challenges if they successfully get those challenges they should be given another one. Um, I don't think that a team should be penalized if they get the challenges wrong. I mean, if, if they're trying to correct the game, make sure it's okay. That's you know they shouldn't penalize a team for that. And then uh, they can't challenge a play with two minutes left, whether it's until halftime or until the end of the game. They're not allowed to challenge a play. But that's up to the refs or the booth upstairs. So I think that's. One of the reasons they need to change that. Um, and also the replays make it difficult to celebrate positive plays. Um, if a player makes a great play, it gets reviewed and sometimes they overturn it. Case in point, and this is the reason why I bring this one up, is Des Bryant's controversial, controversial no catch. That one was a big one. Um, Des Bryant went, caught the ball, took two steps, went to go put the ball into the end zone. The ref called it a catch. They went back, reviewed it, and upon further review, they said he didn't catch it according to the rules. Now, if there was an instant replay, they probably would have ruled that catch like they did. Um, Dallas probably would have scored, and well, which I'm pretty sure they would have. And who knows what the game, something could have happened in the game. Aaron Rodgers might have came back and scored, and they probably would have lost anyway. Or Dallas could have stopped them, and they could have been the ones going to Seattle and playing them. So um, those are the reasons why I think that. Uh, in conclusion, Although instant replay is great for the most part, there are some issues that they could get fixed and get resolved. Um, does anybody have any questions? The audience does not have any questions. So I don't with, with this brain, why did they rule it a no call? Wait, no catch. Well, it's according to the NFL rules, they said that it wasn't. He took, he caught it. Two, two steps and leaned over there, but they, I don't know, it's something with the catch rule. I really can't explain it a whole lot, but it yeah, has something to do with it. Is there a flag, a red flag? The, the yeah, ball, or? the Packers, uh, Mike McCarthy challenged the play, they reviewed it. But like I said, if there was an instant replay, the refs called a catch. A catch so.
Yes, Charlie. Was it the same type of scenario uh, with Calvin Johnson the year before? Where yeah, against the Bears, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, same thing. And same. it was the exact same ruling, so doesn't that show consistency in the, in the, call. the rules? No, because earlier than this year, I believe it was Larry Fitzgerald had a play where he was, they ruled it, um, <coughs> They actually ruled it a catch, and he did almost the exact, exact same thing as Calvin Johnson and Des Bryant. I'd have to show you guys the footage on that one, but yeah, they compared it to that one. They're like, well, what's the difference between what Larry Fitzgerald did and versus what Des Bryant did and Calvin Johnson? So I, in my opinion, it's inconsistent. Anybody else? Thank you.